filling in the gap between Episode 4, A New Hope, and 5, The Empire Strikes Back. We are here discussing Marvel Comics, Star Wars, Darth Vader, Issue Number 3. As the last issue closed, we see that Vader was having some issues trusting those around him. We were also left with some questions regarding the activities of his astromech droid. The opening scroll of this issue reveals that Unai was indeed a mole for the pirates, which made it clear to Vader that no one could be trusted. Most likely, Vader's former astromech droid was downloading some information for him that he had taken from the pirates regarding the resurrected battle droids they faced. We now continue with Vader's quest to find out who the Emperor is conspiring with, and locating the four strong pilot who destroyed the Death Star. But for this, he will need his own personal secret forces. This issue opens with a woman breaking into a secure facility on Quarantine World 3 in Caladahan Space. She manages to obtain the program for a protocol droid called Triple Zero before getting captured by the station's forces. Just as she was about to be arrested, Darth Vader shows up and puts an end to her captors, turning to her and saying, Dr. Afra, I have need of you. Back on her spaceship, the Archangel, Dr. Afra tells Vader all about the program that she stole from the facility, and, after some quick decrypting from Vader himself, she installs the program into a protocol droid. I'm 000, or triple zero if you prefer. I'm a protocol droid specialized in etiquette, customs, translation, and torture, ma'am. Dr. Afra's specialty is droid archaeology, resurrecting old droids for clients. The only purpose for activating Triple Zero is so that he can talk a rare programming language that is needed to activate BT-1, a blastomech prototype, a specialized assassin droid that passes as a regular astromech. After the successful activation of BT-1, Vader finally gets to the reason why he sought out Dr. Afram. Vader reveals his plan to create a private army, an army of droids. On hearing Vader's request, Dr. Afra exclaims, You are what I've been looking for all my life. It seems she desired a purpose, someone to let her do what she does best, and to serve someone who needs her. In order to create Vader's secret army, she feels that the best place to go is Geonosis, the planet that served as the opening conflict of the Clone Wars and the location of the factories that created the droid armies used against the Republic in the prequel films. Vader claimed that he had no feelings toward Geonosis, but we know there is a lot of history between Anakin Skywalker and that planet. As we've learned from the novel Tarkin, Geonosis was also the construction site of the first Death Star. I won't let you down, claimed Dr. Aphra. To which Vader responds, Wise Aphra, that would be a mistake. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to keep up with all the insight and analysis found here at Star Wars The Canon Explained. You can also follow us on Twitter or visit us on Facebook. Till next time, may the Force be with you.